Hey guys, John Hennessy here from Henco Waterjet. As always, thank you for joining us. In today's video, we'd like to discuss abrasive cutting head theory. There's a variety of different cutting heads out there and what we'd like to cover is the pros and cons of each and help you decide which cutting head is right for your application. All right, so let's jump right in. With all the different abrasive cutting heads available in the market today, there's really only two styles of cutting heads. And the difference between the two cutting heads has to do with how the abrasive enters the cutting head. The first is the angled inlet style, and the other is the 90 degree inlet style. All right, let's start by taking a closer look at the standard angled inlet cutting head. You can see the pressurized water traveling through the down tube, accelerating through the orifice. With the angled inlet, the abrasive being delivered to the top of the nozzle. The mixing of the water and the abrasive happens in the nozzle before exiting. Let's switch over to and look at the uh, 90 degree abrasive inlet cutting head. And what you're going to see is because the abrasive does come in at a 90 degree, these cutting heads need to have an abrasive, what we call a mixing chamber, to help protect the inside of the cutting head. All right, as we look back at the angled inlet, uh, some of the pros on these cutting heads is that you don't have the added expense of a carbide mixing chamber. Um, all of that abrasive is directed at the top of the nozzle, uh, and so all the wear, if you will, is happening inside the nozzle. Whereas with the uh, 90 degree inlet, uh, the pros are is that there's a belief that the abrasive gets more evenly distributed uh, throughout the jet and that there's more even wear on the nozzles. All right, so let's take the pros and cons, let's set them aside for a minute, and let's look at what actually happens in any abrasive cutting head. All right, we've seen the animation of the cutting head. However, if we take a closer look, what we should see is an air stream that is actually created by the jet stream, which also happens to capture abrasive. The abrasive caught in the air stream can actually begin to sandblast the bottom of the orifice mount. Over many hours, such as 300, 400, this sandblast process can cause severe damage to the orifice mount and disrupt the cutting process. Another interesting event happens when the jet turns off and a vacuum is produced upwards towards the on-off valve. The vacuum often captures and takes abrasive along with it. When this happens, small amounts of abrasive can travel through the orifice and end up on the top side of the orifice. These particles of abrasive are often small but still can and do cause damage to the orifice. What does this information mean when looking at a cutting head? For us at Henco, it means choosing a cutting head should really start with a conversation about orifices. There are three types of orifice materials available today, ruby, tetracore, and diamond. Each of these materials offers a different price point and life expectancy. As we take a closer look at this graph here, you can see that Ruby and Sapphire have about 50 hours, the Tetra Core is sub 600, and the Diamonds have the ability to last 1200 hours. Alright, so if we go ahead and pull all of the information together between the orifices and the cutting heads, one of the things that you probably don't want to do is put a diamond in a cutting head that does not have a mixing chamber as you can see here, because over hours you're going to wear out uh, the bottom of the orifice and eventually make the diamond fail. All right, so on the other side of this, uh, you don't want to put a ruby inside of a cutting head that has a mixing chamber, as when the orifice goes bad after, say, 40, 50 hours, it has the potential to take out the mixing chamber. So at Henco, we designed and manufactured precision core cutting heads around orifices. Why build a cutting head with expensive parts that can easily be worn out by poor orifice quality? We only offer cutting heads with carbide mixing chambers for our diamond and tetracore cutting heads. The idea is simple. Cost and life of components should always go in one direction, highest to lowest. The illustration shows the correct stack up of components. Note, component life moves from high to low further downstream. The rationale is to avoid lower performance parts from damaging more expensive parts. All right, folks, hey, thanks for joining us today. Uh, from all of us at Henco, we hope this video helps you. And as always, with any questions with water jets, let it be cutting heads, what cutting head's the right one for your application, give one of our water jet specialists a call at 1-833-4-HENCO. Have a good day.